This channel supports 8-Bit Salute and Operation Supply Drop. Please help us raise money to help support our men and women in service throughout the world. Operation Supply Drop. Making fun where there is none. What up everybody? This is your boy Black Magus and forgive the mic quality. Um, I mean, I have to do a video explaining that. It's some bullshit right now. But anyway, Game Awards. So, watched the Game Awards last night and decided I'll get up early in the morning and talk about it because I wasn't really um, in the mood to do it last night. I, just, I actually was really, really sleepy. I don't think it was because the Game Awards put me to sleep, um, per se. Just tired from a long day's work, I guess. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. We're here to discuss the Game Awards 2016. Um, in this video, we're just going to dis discuss the trailers and announcements that were made. Um, and then I'll do a separate video in which I will discuss the awards. So, moving on from start to finish, we started out with some new Zelda footage, um, which it was a um, new trailer. It looked cool. Um, the game definitely looks cool. Uh, we got an announcement about Rocket League. There's going to be some new content coming out on December 7th. Um, that that looks really cool. It's been a minute since I played Rocket League, but I would not mind getting back into Rocket League. Rocket League was a very very good game. Um, came out of nowhere. It was just like really fun. Um, pe most of you guys know about Rocket League. I, it, it was it was just fun. You know, good simple fun. Um, and the new stuff should reinvigorate it and also reinvigorate its. Um, league play as well because Rocket League had become a really highly competitive game as well as just being something that a lot of people had fun playing. Um, so that's coming out December 7th. We got an announcement from Randy Pitchford from Gearbox where they're now publishing which is probably a good move for them because lately the games that they've developed um, haven't really hit. Um, mind you they still have the Borderlands fr franchise, so they're good. And they still have, um, is it Brothers in Arms is theirs? Which they could come up with another one, I'm sure, that people will be happy about. But they partnered with People Can Fly, and they're going to bring out a new um, Bulletstorm game on April 7th, 2017. That, that I found very funny, that they actually had an exact release date for that game to announce in December 2016. That's not good um, in my mind because we've seen how things have gone over recent um, years. To have that announcement so early and then all of a sudden development problems. But maybe they're one of the smart ones and they're in a good development place where they know like unequivocally they'll be ready by then. But, you know, hey, they put it out there, so now people are going to be expecting it. We've never played the original Bullet Storm. Very good game. Went under the radar for a lot of people. I um, guess the only way you can play it now is if possible. Um, Microsoft puts it on uh, backwards compatibility. Or if you could find it on PlayStation Now, um, because it was a last-gen game. But it was, it was very cool, very inventive how they did the um, combat in that game. So, now, mind you, all this that I just talked about happened on the pre-show. They were even announcing, you know, like, games being um, awarded on the pre-show, which is very, very funny. Um, I'll get to that later on. Um, anyway, so, Kojima, after Jeff Keighley gave one of the best bromance speeches ever, like, his devotion and love for Kojima is stronger than any I've seen in any relationship, be it heterosexual or homosexual. <laughs> that dude loves him some Kojima. Anyway, after they awarded Kojima, um, they showed new footage of um, Death Stranding, and I don't know what the fuck I watch, people. Um, I really don't. It looks good visually. Um, of course, it has that Kojima um, weird, like, 
I don't know. Is he has like such a weird eclectic thing that makes you say, "Wow, this looks interesting," but you're also sitting there like, "Yeah, it looks interesting," but the fuck did I just watch? I just saw like Guillermo del Toro running around with a baby in a tube and fucking. I think that was um, Mads Mikkelsen, who was this? I swear that it looked like Mads Mikkelsen, the guy who had the soldiers attached to him. And then sent them out to go get. I guess he was going to get Gil. I don't know what was going on. The crabs and the dead crabs, the soldiers on the bridge attached to the squid um tank. Um, the, the, I, shit looks trippy. Looks trippy, but we'll see. We'll see what Kojima has in store for PlayStation um owners, and God knows when. PlayStation 5 will be out by the time that game comes out. Um, Telltale announced the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, game. We knew that they were going to do something with Marvel. They had already made that announcement, I think, in 2015, that they had um, signed a deal to make a Marvel game. Well, here's one. If all you are mad, don't think that this is going to be the only Marvel game they're going to make. Because if this is successful, guaranteed Marvel will be licensing out the Marvel Universe for other games, because I could see Telltale do a lot of different things for them as well as DC probably in the future, um, because the Batman game seems to be doing pretty well. Um, a new free-to-play game was announced um, called Dauntless. That looks all right. Um, we got a new Lawbreakers trailer from Cliffy B. Um, shit looks cool. It looks very, very cool. And the beta sign up is up. So if you want to sign up for the beta, go ahead and go to um, lawbreakers.com. And he said the beta should be soon. Um, got a new trailer from Prey, uh, from Bethesda for Prey. Uh, that game looks creepy as fuck. Um, I love the whole uh, tagline at the end. In order, for, in order to fix things, someone must die. So it's like, oh. Are they saying the main character is going to die? Who the fuck is going to die? I know a lot of people have to probably die since it seems like a horror-esque um, type game. But that was pretty cool. Uh, you could actually see the full gameplay trailer at GameInformer.com as Prey is the cover story. Um, so whenever Game Informer has a cover story on their website, they do a whole big feature thing where they have videos, interviews, um, special details that you probably can't catch in a magazine, so you probably want to go to GameInformer.com, check all that out, so because you'll be able to see a full um, clip of what they show um, with gameplay, with a lot more gameplay. So check that out. Um, then we got to the second um, part of the Legend of Zelda gameplay. Uh, I mean, it looks cool. Again. I have no issues. I don't know if it's cool enough that I'm going to run out and pre-order a Switch or buy a Wii U because it's still going to be a Wii U. They actually showed the guys playing it on the Wii U and they advertised it as a Wii U game. So if you own a Wii U, you do not have to upgrade your systems to play this game. It's still coming. Um, But if you don't already own a system... Is this the incentive to get it? As big as a Zelda fan as I've always been, I just could never. It just it's just the way I am anyway. It's the same reason why I never have owned multiple consoles. If I don't feel like another console has enough to make me warrant getting it, there's no sense in getting it. Not just for one or maybe two titles. Um, but it looks cool. It looks cool. And later we'll. Have discussed a little more on uh, Breath of the Wild. Uh, they showed a movie clip from Assassin's Creed. Yeah, cool action clip. Um, doesn't mean it's going to be a good movie. But we all probably are expecting some really cool looking um, fight scenes and action sequences from that because, like the games, they all have it. It's, it's, you know, the, all the games, even the ones that pe we all consider to be really horrible, have great moments in them. That don't mean that it's going to be good, though. I uh, got a Halo Wars trailer, which was pretty damn interesting. You got to 
be introduced into um you got introduced as to what the enemy that you're facing and the, their depths um i thought that was really really cool right there um definitely want to pick up that game on windows uh new walking dead trailer for the um upcoming walking dead frontier game um there will be a new protagonist although clem will still be there she's going to be around there she's not the protagonist um this time around it is a new guy um what was his name javi he is going to be uh the protagonist i like how they started with showing you what happened in his past and then they're going to flash many years later as you can see clem is pretty much an adult um uh and this guy is much older um i find it very interesting because they're taking the universe a lot further than the comic books if you think about it the comic books you know are you know they're they're years ahead but this seems to be accelerating it to a like much further point which um i find interesting i find very very interesting um let's see what else do we have uh pretty much the last thing on the list by the way the walking dead game will be out december 20th there will be two episodes dropping that day because he made the um producer may mention that the debut was quote unquote so big that they had to um have two parts to it um okay whatever um <laughs> anyway but yeah definitely um a lot of people are gonna be checking that out i need to beat the first two I know that's one of my secret shames. I haven't beaten the first two uh, Walking Dead games. Anyway, uh, so last but not least, you got the gameplay of Mass Effect Andromeda, the thing that pretty much everybody had been waiting for. Um, and they were wise to hold it to the end. Um, so we got to see how... Uh, some of the combat's going to be got to see how the Land Rovers, some of the vehicles are going to work, the environment, some of the enemies, some of the interactions in the cutscenes with um, characters, things like that. Game looks good. Um, just for me, more detail on the story. I know you guys are looking for a new home and all that, but just want to be a little bit more familiar with where the world is. Um, but it, for what they showed, it looks great. Um, everyone's hyped for more Mass Effect. I'm very, very um, interested in playing this. We have a few months, so we'll see. Hopefully, EA will have it all shaped up and polished um, by the time uh, spring arrives and we'll get a great experience. Um, and hopefully, too, we'll find out, is this just a one-off? Is it the beginning of a new trilogy? Because they never really made that clear. But um, that was pretty much it as far as the highlighted uh, gameplay and announcement. At least the biggest things that I found off of uh, the show. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. Um, highlights, of course, Mass Effect. Um, getting to see much more of Zelda was a good thing. And the new Rocket League, that was a big, good surprise. The Kojima, I'm sure, was a great surprise for a lot of people. Because I'm sure, like, while we all knew that Kojima was going to be there, because he wanted to give him an Icon Award, a Lifetime Achievement Award, um, and all of that. Uh, also, because he just wanted to get a moment to tell um, Konami to fuck off. You could tell that, that, that Jeff Keighley had been waiting for that moment. He made sure to say before he started on the speech that this was something he wanted to do last year, but he was denied it because of you know, and all that. So he point he pointedly um, pointed a finger <laughs> at um, at Konami, and it wasn't the index finger. He just, middle fingers were up for them, but you know some cool stuff was seen. Let me let me know what you guys thought. What's the cool highlights from the show as far as the trailers and announcement was. So, as always, you guys hit me up. Let me know what you think and I'll holler at you later. This your boy Black Megas and I'm out.
deuces.